I want to make a drainage on this tarpaulin. And what you see me holding in my hand here is one of the tools that is required for this assignment. It is known as a bulkhead, but com more commonly called a back knot. It is made into three parts. It is made into the male part, which has this screw, the thread on it. It is made into the female part, this one, which is serves like the screw. And then it is made, it is also, it also has this other, the third part, which is just a rubber. See the rubber here. See, this one is a male part, and this is a female part. See, this is a screw, the female part. This is the male part, and then that's a rubber there. So, we will be using this to, we will have to make a hole on the tarpaulin. So, here we have to decide on which side of the tarpaulin to make this hole. And my consideration in this case is, which I'm um, looking at the elevation, which part of this has the lowest, lowest elevation? So that if I make the hole there, water can more freely flow out. So I've looked at it, aside what you're seeing on the picture, I've looked at the floor and this place seems to have to be lowest. So I'm going to put it here. Then what I need to do next is to cut out the hole. And to do that, I just come use this bulkhead. You know, this place is smaller in diameter that to compare to this place that has the rubber. So I use this place, place it on that side of the tarpaulin, use a marker to mark it out round and cut it out. So this is where I'm going to put it. You see, I've placed it on the tarpaulin and I'm going to use this marker to mark it out. And I will use this blade to cut it out. So you can see I've cut it out. Now I'm going to use this, this part of the bulkhead, the male part. From inside the tarpaulin, I'm going to fix it and then it will come out to this place and I'll use this screw to tight it very well. Then from the inside, I'm going to say, okay, I'm already inside now and I've done the job, it's tightened now. So, but if we leave it like this, you see the, the, the diameter is too much and the fishes, especially when they are small, when they are still fries or juvenile, they can just flush out. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is a pipe, just PVC pipe that, that can fit in properly into this place. I'm going to put this pipe in like this and then use a cap. Of course, this is just waste PVC, not, not pressure pipe, this is waste. So I'm going to use this cap to fit in here and then I'll look for a way to make holes, a lot of holes onto this pipe. Like I can use very hot nail to do it. So that the holes will be very small for the fishes to pass through but big enough for water to sieve through so that's exactly what i'm going to do so i use this cap to cover it and then i make holes but it, i also decided to use maybe a longer pipe i just i remove this and use a longer pipe you can see i put in this bend here inside and then fix this pipe here you can see i applied gum and then i've put the cover here to put this cover i had to hit hit the end of this thing it became soft so i now force the cover through so along the bread along the length of this pipe like this i'm going to use that hot nail to make a lot of holes tiny holes that the fishes cannot pass through and then that's it so the water will pass through very well and go out but the fishes cannot so let's go outside and see what we have to do there so outside here you see we have this this one is to control the outflow of water and it is called the ball gauge so I'm going to, this is just normal PVC pipe, waste pipe. So this is another pipe and then this one is called uh, an adapter and then this one is straight tape. So I'm going to use this pipe to fit into here but unfortunately this pipe is, it tends to be a bit smaller than this hole so it cannot fit in properly. So to do, to proceed I, I will use this adapter. This adapter is more like a reducer. It will reduce to reduce this this diameter to a much smaller diameter which is this that can this this pipe can fit into properly so i'm going to use this adapter this adapter that is a reducer to screw in here but before that it's necessary to use this thread tape to wind around the thread of this adapter so that it can be watertight so just like this so since i've wound it down and if i tight it here water will hardly penetrate because of this thread tape i've wound it into the back knot so i will need to now fix this pipe in here properly but at this point it's important that i use pvc gum i apply pvc gum so that water will not be seeping out so one of the pvc gums you can use is these are uh, abro pvc gum but there are other ones that are more available locally like the tan jeet and the top jeet 
so so i'll fix the pipe you can see i'll fix the pipe and then i also fit the, fix the ball gauge now but i still have to apply gum around there before i fix the ball gauge and then you can see it and then i fix this pipe now i'll fix this pipe and we, i can now channel it to wherever wherever maybe to a pit to gutter to where or maybe i even connect it in case there are other fish ponds i connect all of them to together and then take them out with one pipe so that is it so this is a control you can see i've locked it now and i've opened it but i i would like to make uh, say something you see this back knot to tighten this back knot very well sometimes you may not be able to do it with your bare hands except you're strong enough so it may be necessary to use a tool like this this is a pipe wrench so with this pipe wrench from this side you can hook the back knot and then from the other side to inside you hook with another pipe wrench and then you tighten it together so in case you don't have a pipe wrench you may use a, a plumber can help you do that but if you're strong enough you can still try it and water will not seep out of course if you tighten it and that rubber that rubber presses against the tarpaulin very well water will not seep out so this is it in case you have any question you can use the comment section to ask and i'll try my best to respond as quickly as possible